Here we have a snake. Ew, that's no snake. Wait until you see some of the caches we're about to find in the Sawtooth Mountains. I'm going camping by myself, but if you want to find some caches, come along for the ride. I had to check the junk drawer before I left and look what I found inside of it. Definitely gonna be hiding all of these along the way. So stay tuned to see where I can hide two nano caches and a fake rock. You already know geocaching became a really expensive hobby this summer. You know what I'm talking about right there. $5.15 per gallon of gas. The good news for you is you're gonna find some amazing caches right now in the Sawtooth Mountains of Idaho. Let's check them out. Cache number one. It is super windy out here. Hopefully that calms down. Got it. Right there. On to the next. Look at what I did find though. How's that even up there? Look what I just found looking for this cache. He is chilling. We are now going to look at a cache called Rocky's Grave. Not sure why it's called that. I believe it's a dog burials ground. Um, I'm a dog lover, so let's go find this cache. Just gotta walk through this field of grass first. 300 feet. I think I already see the cross. Not just one dog burial. We have four dog burials. And right next to it, here's the geocache. You've got a ton of different stuff in here. On to the next. Wait until you see this earth cache. Massive cave. Let's go check it out. It looks like you can go pretty deep. Oh, just scared that bird off. Look how deep you can go. And these ravens, they are not gonna leave anytime soon. Stay. I am now here inside of this cave. Who knows what we'll find? It's times like these I wonder if there's something wrong with me that I'm down exploring a cave. How far does it go? So I went as far as you could see. I have a flashlight, but I'm not going any deeper. I have no idea how deep this goes, but I'm glad I got down here to explore. Can't believe this is an earth cache right here. So cool. After being in the darkness, I, uh, I've i seen the movie The Descent and I am getting out of here. No thank you. That bird just scared the out of me. When I was climbing out, that bird flew right over me. Definitely aggressive. There's probably a nest here feel kind of bad about it. On to the next. Something about exploring a cave. Uh, worked up an appetite here. Consistency, that's what McDonald's brings you, consistency. 17 favor points. The cash was not too crazy, but look how beautiful it is. Getting close to Sun Valley, I can see why it has 17 favor points. It's really pretty. And the wind actually calmed down. Let's go find some more. The name of this cache is a river runs through it sometimes. You can probably figure out why. There are birds all over and it is absolutely gorgeous here. I have never seen it so peaceful. The hint told me to look up. That's exactly what I did. And look what I found. Right here. Glow in the dark bracelet. Hey, golden tea. Signed my name. And now I put everything back. Close it up. Hide it back where I found it. Logging it on the app. I'm gonna go find the next. We're about 30 miles outside of Sun Valley. I'll see you there. Out here at the next cache and I'm looking down here. Apparently we're gonna have to go over a uh, old rickety bridge. Let's do this thing. Well, um, for those of you that didn't know, 
I don't love snakes. I don't love them at all. And uh, lo and behold, here we have a snake. I don't know what kind, and to be honest, I don't really care. Um, I'm getting out of here. Moment of truth. All right. Well, this is terrifying. The things we do to find little boxes in nature. I don't know. No. I'm not even gonna lie, seeing that snake uh, kind of ruined <sighs> everything. Oh, I hate snakes. I don't know what it is. I just, oh, the way they move. Ugh. All right, I wandered around all throughout here. The truck's way over there. Lo and behold, right here, we found the cash. Hope it was worth it, because that snake Still got to go past it on the way back. This is a travel bug hotel, so maybe, just maybe, we will find a travel bug. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Just one more walk across this old rotted wood bridge we're there we are in Haley Idaho right now just south of Sun Valley one of those caches that is a lot easier than you make it I was looking all over this we're in downtown so it's a high traffic area normally for some reason nobody's out and I was looking all through here this is where the coordinates led me and this is why sometimes you have to search a little further away because I was searching all around this mine cart inside of it. And then I ended up looking down here and that's where I found it. On to the next. Two bridges in one hour. Hopefully this one doesn't have snakes, but the geocache is over here, 600 foot walk. Nothing too bad, let's see. The name of it is Now and Then. So we'll see what we find. All right, we have another bridge. It's gonna be down here somewhere. Gotta be careful. Woo! -hoo. Definitely creepy. Hey, that's pretty sick. So we are under this bridge. I've spent so much time looking under here. I looked all the way up here. Couldn't find anything up there. Looked along the ridges, could not find anything. I've been here for almost 20 minutes, was about to give up, and then I looked right here. TFTC. We got the cash, a lot harder to get than it looks. You gotta stick your arm way deep in there, and it's even harder trying to film all this, but I appreciate all of you watching. I think this might be the last cash, we might do one more and then look for a place to set up the bed tent, but uh, day two tomorrow, see you there. The neighbor's dogs are not stoked about it, but last geocache of the day, it's at a library. And there's the lock.